Good evening everyone and welcome to your weekly dose of inspiration. I hope that you had a great weekend. I know I did and I'm really looking forward to a greater week ahead and I pray the same for you as well. Today you're going to hear from two of our congregational members, one from our C3 Clang and the other from our C3 KL campuses. One of them is actually my sister and the other one is her newly wedded husband. And they, they're just going to share with you a short story of how they've experienced God's goodness during this season. And if you're listening today and you're stuck in a situation where it seems like there's no way out, I mean, you've calculated all your risk and all your solutions on every logical platform possible, and you've found no way out, I'm here to tell you that God is a way maker. We don't just sing about Him as a way maker, He truly is a way maker. And today, this short story will show you how God can take all the impossibilities in your life and make a way right through it and take you to the other side as His Word promises. So, I hope that you will stay tuned and listen to this short story and that it will bless you. Hey guys, uh, for those of you guys that don't know us, I'm TJ, this is my wife Somi and um, we just have a small testimony that we would like to share with you guys about our wedding journey and how uh, it went down during the MCO so just have a listen and yeah take it away babe all right so for those of you who don't know we were actually supposed to get married on the 4th of April and so we have had everything planned our um our in-laws my in-laws flights were booked um hotels were booked uh, all the vendors deposits were paid the hotel deposit was paid well half the cost was paid we had all our clothes everything was planned and we were ready and then uh, about two weeks before the wedding we got the announcement by the government saying that we were going under an mco a lockdown and uh, we freaked out because uh, everything was paid for and i mean you can imagine two weeks before the wedding and we have no idea what's what's about to happen so yeah that's not the worst part the worst part is we are in two different states and they've imposed a lockdown and i can't get to her because we still want to get married on the 4th of april and we're like what are we gonna do so we're discussing we're trying to come up with ideas of what to do postpone it i'm like i don't want to postpone i just want to carry on get there on the 4th of april and still get married so this is against all logic it, it doesn't make sense because if you are out on the on the roads, if you're on the highways, if you go out to another state, you either get arrested, you get fined, thrown in jail. It's it's not a good picture. So I'm like, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna ask God to be with me as I go to that state so that I can just get married. So um, took my stuff, got in a um, a taxi. And it was her dad's brother who was actually the taxi driver and he's ex-police. So going through the roadblocks with him, he knew what to say in the roadblocks. And we had three roadblocks on the highways. The first one was just outside my house. I'm just getting out and I'm like, oh my God, they've got me. But no, um, we went through the taxi guy, the taxi driver, her uncle. Um, he's like, no, this is a, um, he's getting married today to an ex-policeman's daughter. So I'm African and the policeman looks at the back, he looks at me and we're in Malaysia so an ex-policeman is not African so he looks at me and he's, he's just confused but then they let us go and we go that's it that's God on that roadblock again. Second roadblock nothing just questions we went through the third roadblock they were just setting up they hadn't even started and it didn't even take 45 minutes I was there on the 4th of April waiting for the pastors and we had such an amazing day uh, Babe, yeah. you want to tell them about that? Yeah, so um, we I think we owe like a huge thank you to our pastors because despite everything and everyone telling us to be afraid and to cancel it, to postpone and everything our pastors stood by our side, um, our campus pastors and our senior pastors were so supportive and they even agreed to come over to our house to do a small ceremony with um, whoever who's at home and uh, that's what happened on the 4th so we didn't have our big celebration wedding but we still had a very memorable one it was at home and I didn't think it was going to be an actual like 
full blown ceremony. I thought it was just exchange of wows and pasta praise for us and we're done. But uh, it was more than what we could have imagined, right? Uh, yeah. We we had everything like the walking down the aisle. In my case, it was walking down the stairs, and then <laughs> and then uh, we had worship. I led worship at my own wedding, and then uh, what else did we have? We had like the lighting of the candles, and the vows were said in my garden, which ended up being so beautiful. And uh, one of my cousins came over and he was, he lives very nearby and he came over and he so happens to be like a professional videographer. So our video that we got on Instagram is like, it had all the perfect angles. So we got the perfect highlight video that I always wanted. And uh, I think it was just so beautiful, right? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't a big hoo-ha, but it was still so beautiful to us. Oh yeah, and also with regards to our actual big wedding that we planned, so God was so good in even in that area, like we were able to move our deposits to next year with all our vendors and the hotel and there was no fine or no extra charges. It, it, it's really, we can see that God's hand was in this whole thing. It was, it was perfect. Um, and our message to you is not just about people that want to get married, but our message is when you ask God for something and you believe that He's going to come through, you got to stop tripping. Believe that God is going to come through. Don't ask Him for something and then doubt Him. Ask yeah. Him and then you follow through, go through all the way with it. And for us, we started our lives on the 4th of April. Can't wait to live the rest of our lives together. And yeah. nothing's going to get in the way of us living our lives together. So thank you guys um, for listening. Most of all, I just want to thank God and God bless you guys from us. Stay blessed, stay safe. See you guys when we see each other. Wow, wasn't that a good short story? Now just a small disclaimer, just to let you know, because some of you may be getting agitated listening to this and saying, man, did they just break the law? No, no, look, calm down, calm down, all right? Uh, whatever was done on, on that day was done within the confines of the MCO and the lockdown laws, all right? Just letting you know, so calm down. I mean, I know they mentioned that we did it with family. What they failed to mention is because to, to an Indian culture, or to an Asian culture rather when you say family it means a thousand people okay calm down no no what they meant was immediate family okay it was just my folks and, and and my brother who was there at home with them as well so it was just immediate family and our senior pastors and it was a great ceremony it wasn't a great big wedding that they wanted uh, but that's going to happen for them still but what was more important was what was established on that day and that was the marriage, the marriage, the journey of being married began that day. And it's not just about the wedding reception. That's that that's side dish. The main dish is always about the marriage, right? So I'd like to share with you a short word in regard to that story that you just heard. And um, I, I'm, I'm reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 19, from the English Standard Version. And it says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. In other translations, it says, other translations, it says, See, I am doing a new thing. I will make a way for you in the wilderness. If you are in a situation today where you are stuck, I want to challenge you to begin to see. Not see what the natural eye sees but see beyond the horizon and that's what faith is is seeing what you want to see happen in your situation instead of looking at what you are bound by at the current situation we need to learn to see beyond that see in the, in, in the in the realm that is beyond your physical realm and because god is already at work in your situation he is already at work at your situation. That is the word of God for you today. Now you may not see, you may not feel it, you may not hear it, and it, everything around you looks the total opposite, but I'm confidently telling you here today, God is already at work in your situation, and He will make a way for you in that wilderness. It may seem dry, it may seem scary, it may seem hopeless, but I'm here to tell you, God has already begun a work. And the Bible says, He will not stop until that work is done. He's going to get you through this. 
He's going to get you through the other side. And if you read the scripture, if you read further down in that scripture, you'll realize, you'll, you'll learn that you're not just going to make it through. You're not just going to survive through this situation. You are going to thrive through it. You are going to make it to the other side, but you will not come out barely surviving. You will come out victorious, strong, and on another level, ready to fight a brand new battle with new strength. So I just want to leave you with that short word today, and I hope that it encourages you and it blesses you. I also want to encourage you to follow us on all our social media platforms, especially what's coming up on Thursday. Every Thursday, we meet together live at our C3 Clang Instagram to pray. So if you've got a prayer need, please send in your prayer needs. DM us, message us on all our social media platforms. Your names will be kept private and confidential. We will not expose you, but we, will, we want to pray for you. We want to pray with you. Whatever situation you're in, we want to believe God with you for a breakthrough for you. All right, so send in your prayer request. And on Thursday at 8 p.m., join us live at our C3 Clang's Instagram page. And we're going to pray. We're going to get together. Why we get together and pray? Because a place of unity is a place of power, the Bible says. So we want to get together in unity and pray and declare the word of God over your life, over my life, and over our situations. So that a way will come true for us to get from this end to the other end. And we'll always come out victorious. Amen. So I see you on Thursday, everybody. Good night.